everybody. Um, today I wanted to go over uh, how to test for the patella tendon reflex. Um, we do it because it gives weight to our neurological examination um, and it's really testing sort of the L4, L6 spinal segments or the femoral nerve. Um, and when we elicit it, the stifle should extend. It should have a bit of a jump uh, reflex to it. Um, if the reflex is hyperreflexic, that can be a sign and symptom of a upper motor neuron lesion. If it's absent or it's diminished, that could be signs and symptoms of a lower motor neuron lesion. Um, it's always important to compare left to right to get a bit of an accurate uh, representation if it's a uh, one-sided uh, reflex. Um, and so today I thought we'd go through Boston's reflex and then we'll also compare to pages as well, which tends to be a little bit diminished, so you can see the difference. Okay, so to find the patella tendon, you trace up the tibia to the proximal part and you'll come across the uh, tibial tuberosity there. And then if you keep on rolling above that, you'll come across something that is about the thickness of a pencil, and that's the patella tendon in there and you've got the patella sitting up a little bit higher. So to activate the patella tendon, we actually want the patella, patella tendon on a little bit of stretch. So we've just got to flex the stifle a little bit and get your trusty tendon hammer, and you're just gonna give the tendon a bit of a tap. Now, Paige actually has an absent patella tendon reflex. So when I tap that tendon, she actually doesn't have any reflex going on as opposed to Boston, who we'll check in a second, who has a nice tendon reflex.